Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, so it's Sunday, it's seven o'clock, and I've got another video for you. Um, there are some other videos I'm wanting to get done in the future. Uh, at the moment, as I said, it's just going to be some like uh, it's just going to be basically uh, lightsaber review videos. That's what I can do at the moment. Um, so there might not be the most exciting things. I do apologise. Uh, we are around 950 subscribers, guys. So we're getting very close to a thousand. Um, what I will be doing is when we do get to 1,000 subscribers, I will do a, I will go live, we'll do a full live um, chat with all you guys, so you can ask me any questions and go for anything that you want. Um, I did one quite a while ago, I think it was around 500 subscribers, I'm not 100% sure, but it was a good laugh and... I think doing it again at a thousand subscribers will be great. Don't forget, you can still buy the tickets for the Mandalorian helmet. At 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away the Mandalorian helmet uh, by one raffle ticket. So uh, that is still ongoing. Just go to the web, uh, the forcesabers.co.uk website and you can get the raffle tickets from there. Um, it is awesome, the helmet. Seriously, it's really good. Um, but today's review is going to be on, believe it or not, a Saber Forge uh, lightsaber hilt. It's one I bought, I think I bought it about two, th two, three years ago, something like that. Um, I've always wanted to have a lightsaber from Saber Forge. Saber Forge was the very first company I ever saw anywhere uh, that made lightsabers that you could buy. Um, I was also was a little bit unsure of which model to do and how much to spend. Uh, with lightsabers from America, if anything goes wrong, it's a lot of money to send it back and to have it sent back again. And you've got 20% import. And just so you are aware, the import is on the value of the item as well as the shipping costs. So if you've got a £150 lightsaber and you've got £50 import tax, uh, it will actually be £200 uh, that you're getting taxed on. So it's 20% on £200. So that's another £40 on top. It's just something to keep in mind. And then if you have to send, if something goes wrong, because they can, if something goes wrong, you have to send it back. Then it's going to be about £50 for you to send it back to them. And then it's going to be another £50 to get it back. And then when they send it back to you, they'll do, they'll send it back of the value of the item, which is £150. <laughs> and the cost of the shipping, which is another £50. So again, you're going to be paying another £40 on top of that. So it is, it is, um, it is quite expensive. Uh, we're now in a time where we're looking to have some great sellers in the UK and in Europe. So if you're in the UK and Europe, I would strongly suggest buying for, uh, as local as you can, um, just to avoid uh, import tax or anything else and high shipping costs. But also just keep in mind, if anything goes wrong, the closer you are to the manufacturer or the seller, the, the easier it should hopefully be to, um, uh, to get it sorted. And as always, just double check on who you're buying from, check on reviews, make sure that where you're buying it from is a reputable company and uh, you, you are safe with your purchase. Uh, I did say in my previous video that uh, you could spend very little money and you're going to get ripped off, or you could spend a huge amount of money and not get ripped off. That's not gossible. Uh, you, could spend, uh, you could spend a load of money and have nothing but problems um, and issues, you know, which cost you even more. Uh, you could spend very little money and get an absolute banger of a, a lightsaber. Have something that lasts you 10, 20 years and never lets you down. And this is an all-around brilliant lightsaber. Uh, this, it's not a real science. Uh, what I'm saying is not an exact science, sorry. It's, um, it's just it's one of those things. Just keep in mind. Just do your research. The, the main thing we'll to take from it was do your research. Make sure who you're buying from you can trust. Pattern Outpost, there's loads of great reviews. You, I've got great reviews. There's a lot of companies out there that do really have really good reviews. So just 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 check your reviews first. Facebook, uh, Trustpilot, things like that. So, the lightsaber I got from Saberforge. Now, I went through, I looked at a lot of their models. Uh, and in the end, I decided to go for this one. Ooh, that makes a little squeaky noise. Uh, I decided to go for this one. It is really nice as a lightsaber. I love the design. I, I I love the emitter section. The emitter looks phenomenal. The um, the I, I love this bit here. The 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 ribbed section there. This is great. Um, the switch section. Now, obviously, as I've said in a previous video, I'm quite cheap, so I got a model that had no sound. Uh, I'm assuming if you had sound, that would be a, another function button for it. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure, but it's just a non-functioning button. Um, so uh, they do make the, the the design aspect of Saber Forge is uh, this will be one part, this will be one part, this will be one part. So all this and this, and you have the ability to go to their website and you can actually make your own lightsaber. You could go, I don't like that pommel, take it off, choose this one, put it on. And you could tailor make your entire lightsaber to however you want it, which is phenomenal. Uh, and they're the only ones that I know of that do that. Uh, I may be wrong. If I am, please put in comments below uh, if you are aware of other companies that allow you to literally build your own lightsaber from multiple parts. Um, but um, this was one that they, they had. I really like the design. It looks really nice the um the emitter is just great now there are some scratches on here i'll be honest i believe those scratches were from me um how i stored it not due to saber forge uh, however this does scratch quite easily it is aluminium it will happen um i do i do love the the, the pommel is great this is actually cut out and it's go and it sees through to this and it's really really nice it's it is it is a really really nice hill uh yeah all around this is a really really nice uh design it's a really nice hill it's got a good weight to it uh the blade is a really heavy duty blade i mean this blade is really strong it isn't white this is a translucent translucent transparent blade it's um it's sort of like grayish silvery color um and it also has a uh, rounded tip uh, I would have really preferred a bullet tip, uh, just my own preference. That's how I, I prefer a bullet tip. Um, but a really heavy blade. Um, this is just a base lip, so there's just an LED around here. Uh, well, about there, would we'll just say, that emits light into the blade. I'll turn it on for you. Again, this hasn't got sound. Um, and it, it's good. It's to about here... It is really, really bright. Blight. To about here, it's really b bright, and then it's noticeably dimmer uh, from from there to about here, and then it just sort of levels out all the way to the end. Um, by this point here on the blade, about three quarters of the way up the blade, it does get quite dim. Um, I mean, it's not it's not detrimentally bad. Uh, it's still okay. It's not terrible. Uh, and I'm in a very well lit room at the moment, so um, for it to still be very bright and very noticeable, that's a win. It's a, it's really good. Uh, I'd give the blade brightness. Uh, I'd most probably give it uh, an eight out of ten uh, in comparison to a Xena Pixel. You can actually unscrew this bit. I'm just doing that now to see why it unscrews. Oh, that's very nice. So you can see that this is designed for um, for speaker section. It's actually that's the exact same design. As I have on the base of my speaker section for uh, my sabers, um, you also have inside a very nice little. It's very hard to show. You have a little pull system there as well. Uh, so you got a little tab that you can just pull out. I need to get a demo blade, man. I really do. And it screws in very nicely. That is really that is very satisfying. I'll be honest. That is a very satisfying sound. I'm not sure what this is for. Because it's not really done anything so I'm not sure what that little nut is for there sorry you can't see it this I'm not sure what this little nut is for if somebody knows um, this one here if somebody knows what that little nuts for let me know um, so the wrap it's okay it's kind of peeling off just a little bit um, but it's you know it's done well. This is I've had this for over two years at least. I would have thought um, the blade is good. Uh, there was a bit of scuff on the blade, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, it's it's nice. I I would I'm not unhappy with this purchase. Um, overall, including customer service uh, that I received. Um, well, no. For the for the lightsaber itself, for what I designed, so for what I picked, uh, as in like what op, the the hilts, pre-made hilts that they had, for all those put together, I would give this 
I'd give it an 8 out of 10. A good 8 out of 10. So it's a, it's a good lightsaber. Uh, there are two things I want to mention. Uh, when I purchased the design, uh, when I purchased this model from Saberforge, uh, this wrap was different. The wrap I actually picked, they, they sent it out with this wrap on. Uh, I had like a fish scale wrap, which I was really looking forward to seeing. Uh, they, they sent this black one out. Um, they never told me. Um, it was just sent and it was like, take it or leave it. Literally, it was take it or leave it. Uh, it would have been nice if they had made a bit of effort on the customer service and reached out to me before sending it out saying Hi, we're really sorry, but that particular skin or leather we uh, have run out of we can send it out with a different one If you want to pick a different one, let us know which one you want. That would have been really nice Didn't happen. Uh, they just made the decision themselves pick what they wanted themselves and sent it which I Kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit if, uh, if you can't fulfill somebody's order as they have requested, you should really get in touch with them and say, look, you know, we're really sorry, but actually we can't do, uh, we can't do that. Do you want this other one? Um, I think it's only the right thing to do. So the other thing was the charger. Uh, they sent me a charger, which I can only use in America. Uh, it's not a UK charger. Um, I know Saberforge is a really big company. Uh, it's not hard to go, right, we're sending this to the UK, let's give them a UK charger. Um, so I was very disappointed in that. Um, uh, and when I did contact them, they'll just say, well, if you're not happy, send it back. Because I mentioned the, the wrap and the charger and said, if you're not happy, send it back. But then it'd be £50 for me to send this back to them. Which kind of, it's like, well, I've just spent a hundred and odd pounds getting it why would i spend 50 pounds to send it back you know key not is there nothing you can do can you not send me another charger which might i assume wouldn't cost a huge amount of money um but no they're very blunt if you don't like it send it back so i don't rate their customer service it's very uncaring um it's don't like it send it back and that that's very much how it felt um which was a shame to be honest it was a real shame uh, in regards to customer service uh the other thing is the emitter here these ah, they are these two points here are ludicrously sharp i mean just touching them it, it i i have knives in my drawer in the kitchen that are as sharp as these uh these two points on here that you can see here these two points are incredibly sharp and I'll, I'll have to say, uh, uh, it's very dangerous, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I can get it on camera. I mean, look look at the point on these things. It's the, they, these things are just like daggers, man. It's really, it's really, really hard to... There we go, look. Those points... Oh, they are they are really really sharp. Like, uh, and also these vents feel quite sharp as well. Uh, this that's just on this model. I'm I'm sure there are thousands upon thousands of uh, hilts gone out that have no issues whatsoever, and people are a hundred percent happy. It's just a shame that you know there's a couple of things that I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, but I st I'm still positive, uh, still positive, still joy, joy feelings about Ultra Sabres. A really nice hill, really, really nice hill. It feels really good. Uh, one huge positive, uh, this is like two years since I got it. And the blade still lights up. The battery still works. I've got to give him credit for that. I mean, that is brilliant. That The battery, after two years, it still just turns on without even missing a beat. Uh, the electronics inside, not got an issue with them. Uh, can't find any issues. They're really well done. Uh, I know sometimes uh, Ultra Sabres will, uh, will have poor electronics or people say they've got bad electronics. Can't fault them on this. Uh, but this is just a stunt mullet. It's, just an LED, it's literally just an LED, a switch and a battery. Maybe a resistor as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, really nice. Uh, if you were to go to Saberforge, I, I think you'd come away with fairly positive feelings. Uh, I don't think you'd be unhappy. Um, 
uh, I'm unsure of uh, if there were to, if something were to go wrong, um, how you would uh, approach that with them. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you like the the video review. Like I said, this is a solid eight out of ten. Um, really nice lightsaber, lovely, lovely design. Really happy with it. Solid eight out of ten. Um, price. Yeah, it was going to be more expensive than buying it from the UK, uh, but I had always wanted to get one from Ultra Sabers, so I'm not going to hold that against them. If I lived in the USA, it would cost very, very little to buy one of these. Um, and if I lived near the actual um, uh, the base of operations, it would be dirt cheap to buy a lightsaber from them. Um, so, yeah, really, really good. Uh, I hope you liked this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will be... Oh, I was going to mention delivery time. This took about eight weeks to get to me, um, which is uh, quite a long time. They have all these parts pre-made. and So I've got a, load of, a box with a load of these, a box with a load of these, and a box with a load of these, and a box with loads of these. Uh, so for six to four, I think eight weeks uh, is a long time just to screw these parts together and do a 30 second install of the electronics because i have seen their install video for electronics like this and it's about 30 seconds to a minute long and that's in real time so i don't know why it takes so long for this to be sent out all i assume is that they have such high demand uh it takes that long to get through all the the back look back log of orders uh anyway um, so yeah, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, I will be bringing out another video same time at 7 uh, seven p.m. on Sunday next week. So I hope you like this one. If you've got a lightsaber from Ultra Sabers, let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think of their hilts down in the comments below. So down here, let me know what you guys think. I am really interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, I hope you like this video and I will see you all next Sunday at 7.